in this video i'm going to show you how to go from this to this using photoshop's new sky replacement feature welcome back to the channel my name is c jam and here we are already inside of adobe photoshop with our photo that we're going to be replacing the sky of and the first thing you want to do to use photoshop's new sky replacement feature well the first thing i normally do is i normally duplicate the layer that i have over here let me make this bigger and then let me hit ctrl and j to duplicate that and then let me right click and then click convert to smart object and then let me go to edit and then let me go to sky replacement and then i have a host of options here right photoshop is going to work for you and you can choose from options of skies and you can see it's already doing an awesome job with this sunset skyline but something to consider when you're replacing skies is consider the shadows that are on your subject so this is a harsh shadow here on this model which would mean high noon right daytime harsh sunlight so what i want to do is go to sky click this drop down arrow here go to blue skies and then looks for something that's more matching to the subject of my photo let's say let's click this sky for example that's looking much better right let's go again and see what we have this is look this one especially is looking much more realistic and if i were to come back to the sky replacement box here i have some options here i can do temperature i can do brightness let me just bump the brightness a little bit you can see it's almost matching the model perfectly right that's almost perfect let's go ahead and increase the temperature making it a little bit warmer because she herself is a nice warm temperature at the time of day where her photo was taken so now it's looking much more realistic right it's looking much more realistic if you ask me this is crazy and all i have to do now to save this change is go ahead and click ok and photoshop will create a bunch of adjustment layers for me here if i wanted i can adjust them by going to the masks here using something like the eraser tool just to brush over but just to show you what we got here let's zoom into the edges and see what we got so this is the sky replacement group right if i turn that off see that you can see how cool that is and it even gave us some edge lighting here right around there right to add to the realism how cool is that and that's all i'm going to be doing to this image so we went from this to this which is pretty cool if you ask me what do you guys think and that's how you replace a sky in a photo using photoshop's new sky replacement feature let me know did you know that this feature was inside of photoshop have you ever been working on a design with a photo and you were just wondering like what else could i do to make this photo more epic is the sky replacement feature for you let me know in the comments below and if you've enjoyed this photoshop tutorial click or tap the screen to watch more of my photoshop tutorials here on the channel